Hi, good day guys. Um, today in this video I'm going to speak to you about the Golf Mark 1 carburetor. This carburetor as you know is commonly called the KS2, the KN KS2. Okay, so um, in this video I basically just want to point out a few things about this uh, carburetor. It's not a highly technical video um, it's just a how-to DIY and it's based on my personal experiences with this carburetor I have on many occasions stripped these carburetors and assembled them again so I basically know how they work and what are the things that commonly go wrong on these carbs okay these carbs were fitted by VW when these cars were manufactured and if you have one of these carbs, like I mentioned, the KS2, the KN KS2, this is the original carb and this is a very good carb. If you have one of these, don't get rid of it by replacing it with a pirate carb. You can rather repair it because you buy a kit which costs you about a hundred rand and you can replace the parts that is needed. And that's how the carb kit looks. You buy it in a little box like this and you get all your little parts and stuff that needs to be fitted into the carb like your jets, your springs and uh, diaphragms. You get all those things with the carb kit which you can just replace. So my advice is always never get rid of a good genuine carb like this and replace it with a uh, pirate or aftermarket part. This is a very good carb. Never give it away. Now the usual things that go wrong with these carbs is the most common things is the idling jet and your main jet. You know that seems to get clogged up with a um, little bit of debris. So uh, sometime from time to time you have to open up this carb. I know sometimes you use carburetor to clean up, but sometimes it's a good thing to open up this carb if you can. Now, many people don't like to mess around with the carb and they'd rather give the job to a specialist. But um, it's not a very difficult job to just remove these bolts and um, open the carb. But then again, if you don't want to do that, then rather than it, rather give it to the expert. And um, inside of these carbs, you will find there is some dirt and sometimes that clogs up your jets and you have a bit of um, trouble starting and jerking and car won't idle so I would advise you to at some stage try and open your carb because it is necessary to get rid of that dirt another, another thing people always um, complain about is that the car doesn't want to idle and then it simply comes down to just this wire here which is an earth wire which runs from the carb against the cylinder head and ensure that, that wire is intact because if that thing is not connected your car won't idle so another thing that is also a problem on these carbs is the accelerator pump is the pump that actually pumps as you put your foot on the gas pedal inside the car it actuates this and it pumps gas into the carburetor but what goes wrong with these things is the actual diaphragm something like this it's a little rubber that gets inserted in here and that goes it sort of um, little tiny holes develop in it and then it doesn't give you that effect um, enough to pump in fuel into your carburetor so that gives you a problem when you need to start and that is why you will have to throw petal into the mouth of the the carb to make it start but by replacing this thing into that um, accelerator pump will solve that problem another common problem on this car is the second stage that doesn't um, go into action and that can be caused by a simple thing like a uh, little rubber hose not being connected properly or it has a, a hole in it or a tear in it or this actual um, component here which also has a diaphragm inside when I say diaphragm I'm speaking about something like that it's a rubber um, little thingy and um, inside here is another one and that can also be removed 
and be replaced because if that is not working correctly then you, your second stage of the carburetor will not kick into action another problem that this carb may give is um, flooding where too much fuel flows into the carburetor and it causes the car to run rich or it will cut out so this over here is underneath here is a bolt a brass nut which is where one makes the adjustments for the amount of fuel flowing into the bowl of the carburetor so that is what needs to come out and then you just use a screwdriver and you make your adjustments there but i wouldn't advise you just to do it if you don't know how to do it rather take it to somebody that is in the know or experienced but don't mess around with this you may make your situation worse and another thing is i don't think i can omit to speak about the the base plate of the carburetor where the carburetor sits on we all know it's this part here that's your carburetor base plate if that is not sealed up properly or there's a tear in there you will have idling issues performance issues etc so my advice is always if you can fit this thing correctly by using a bit of sealer but it's got to be a petrol and oil resistant sealer now for that I would use Victor Ryan's sealer that is the one sealer that I know that I've had no problems with with um, it breaking down due to the oil or uh, petrol now also want to speak to you about just going back to those jets that get clogged up with um, debris and little particles of dirt um, once this top is removed you know there are about five or six bolts like this once it's removed you will then be able to look into the actual carb and there you'll be able to see the amount of dirt in there and it'll give you a nice chance to clean it out and also just to look at the, f the, the, the float and things like that so I'm going to show you a pic of how a carburetor can actually get dirty inside and sometimes carburetor cleaning doesn't always get rid of it so it's best to open it this gives you an idea of a carburetor that's really clogged up and dirty and blocks up the jets inside uh, well guys that was just been a few tips for you to um, look at um, with your carburetor like I said it's not a highly technical um, video it's just based on my experience uh, with this uh, carburetor and and how I've uh, sort of got to know it and how I solved the problems myself and um, I hope this information basically has given you a better idea of how the carburetor works so if you've liked it you can just um, subscribe to my channel and I want to thank you once again for watching